What is up and welcome back everyone. I tell ya, it's been a busy few days to say the least, so I apologize for that, but uh, it's one of those things. Um, I equally started cutting back on my coffee intake because I was up to four or five glasses of coffee per day and all that kind of caffeine, that ain't that good for you, you know, let's be honest. Um, but anyways, so I started cutting back on that, but at the same time, I just got lambasted, lambasted at the old, uh, job front, which, hey, I'm very fortunate that I still have one, and we'll go from there, but, yeah. Anyways, I did upgrade the pack, and uh, this is the first time logging in since upgrading after doing my config changes. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to actually recall all the citizens oh god there's a lot of them don't worry about it it's fine somebody hurt themselves it's okay <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna recall all of the citizens and and whatnot and just kind of reset them right i feel like this is a good way to go um because every once in a while they kind of need a good old reset and you know whenever i update the pack i typically do a reset like that but you know just one of those little things Anyways, on to the epic debates of, you know, the channel and where we were at. So, we were discussing how we're going to solve our storage stuff, right? Last episode, we got refined storage, which is great. Um, we've got all of our stuff currently, you know, just populating things left, right, and center, which is cool. And we have a very nice inventory system. But we were kind of debating back and forth, like, okay, what do we do, right? How do we make this somewhat better, you know, not terrible, all that kind of stuff, right? So, you know, and thank you so much. First of all, thank you all so, so much. Your guys' input was amazing. Um, I really do appreciate it. And even a few ideas that I didn't even think up. So, again, true, strong appreciation um, for the comments, for the likes, you know, just for the continued support that you guys have been providing. So I'd actually started digging out a hole. Hello? You guys gonna go? Maybe? No? You're just all standing still? It's fine. It, it'll be fine. I actually started digging out, uh, ahead of time with an elevator, the underside here, for us to build under the warehouse. The warehouse is right here, and it would have been like, oh, look at that. There's our cable, right? And, you know, your guys' input really changed my thought process on that. So, uh, I'm actually going to remove all of this. And we have a nice big old cave underground. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, but no, it's true. I kind of decided, you know what? No, I don't like this. I did get some resources from it, which is useful. Uh, don't get me wrong, but I didn't really like going underground. I didn't want to go underground and a beautiful user said, well, go above the warehouse. And that's exactly what I think we're going to do. It was such a good idea. I didn't even think about it. And thank you so much for recommending it, okay? Um, to all those that did, there were a few on Discord, there were a few on YouTube comments um, that recommended, and they go, you silly, just go above the warehouse. Now, that leads to a whole bunch of other problems, and let's get into those right now. First of all, the warehouse is level 5, so we don't have to worry about that, right? Pretty easy, no big concern there. There is all this beautiful roofing, though, that we're going to have to remove and we're going to have to build on top of this thing because there's really not enough room otherwise, right? So, yeah, we got to remove all of this, basically. All the ceiling tiles have got to go because we got other things to do. Um, now, I think we should be able to reuse these. I don't see why not. Uh, so... My plan is we'll reuse these shingle tiles and keep the same general idea and thought process behind the warehouse, uh, but we'll expand it into something that's going to work for us as well. The storage itself is pretty darn awesome in this thing, so I'm really looking forward to, uh, to having access to all of that, right? But we got to get this thing down to its guts, 
as bad as that sounds. But yeah, basically where we can build on it. And shingles are not a thing that you build on. Simple as that. Um, but yeah, it shouldn't take very long. As you can see, we're already pretty much done. Now, a couple of interesting parts to this is there's glass in this ceiling. And I'll probably want to continue all of that. But this hole upstairs, I cannot uh, change the way that it is currently configured, right? For our builders here, right? They gotta they gotta be able to traverse and do things and and whatnot, right? Just like they're doing right now. Apparently, they're coming all the way up here now. Um, but yeah, so they need to be able to get in and out and somewhat easily. I don't want to mess with their pathfinding all that much either. Which you saw, they came up, went straight over this staircase and to that block. Now this staircase typically leads to problems, so I will remove that guy. And it seems like their pathfinding is a little bit janky at the moment. Maybe my recall was a bad idea. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, they're doing whatever they're doing. But I kind of want to leave a lot of this intact, right? But we can go above this, right? I think that's the main, the main thought process that I have here. The other thing that I want to keep in consideration is the fact that I fly pretty much everywhere, right? Like, let's be, let's be honest. When was the last time you guys saw me not fly other than battling a raid, right? So I pretty much fly everywhere. So I would like access into, you know, what I'm going to call my house um, via flight, right? I definitely want to have quick and easy access for all of that, okay? Okay. Are we good? Do we have all of our citizens hired and whatnot? Hired, fired, bamboozled, do you name it? I hope so. Um, let me just confirm. I want to make sure that we don't have unemployed folks. We do not. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Nobody in the library right now. We're leaving that. We're working on guards and rangers first. So, anyways, um, from there, it looks like all my guards are, like, broken anyways. So, <laughs> whoa, well, uh... We'll figure that one out over due time. <laughs> I might have to reload or something. Um, or, like, recall them back to the barracks towers here. Anyways, uh, we'll figure all that out. But, yeah, so what i got to do is i got to get to work a little bit here. Uh, a little bit, probably a little bit off camera, um, just because I do want to make a decent amount of progress. I'm really quite tired um, all things considered right now, uh, I'm quite fatigued. So, uh, keep that in mind. I'm going to do my best to try to get this, uh, going. Uh, but yeah, we got a lot of work to do. I want to keep a lot of the same build motifs as well, right? We got to deal with Acacia, which luckily we have pretty easy access to at the moment. <laughs> There's kind of a hole in the roof in case they didn't know. Um, but yeah, so I definitely want to keep a lot of the same motifs, as we go through this build. Um, and probably one of the easiest ways to do this is literally to just expand from what we have uh, down below, right? Build on what we got. Don't recreate the wheel. Nothing too crazy on that, right? But um, I definitely want to have a little bit of a bigger room up here uh, for these guys coming in and out so that maybe they don't get stuck on one another like they have been. And then also, even for myself, if I need to access this area, I don't want to be dealing with a whole bunch of people getting in my way, you know, all that kind of stuff. So let's make some improvements. Um, this looks like it's going to be a pretty nice second level here. We might be able to put the shingles back up here as well. I think that that's going to be an option for us for sure. So that's good. We can do a little bit of the shingle action already. Um, yeah, what is it? it was spruce, right? I think. I think so. I think it was. Okay. Anyways, and kind of fun. I want to see how these work anyway. So we can go like that, and then we can go like that. Yeah, I think that this will work just fine. So we should be able to put some roofing back on here. And then let's go boom, boom. Yeah, I think it was like this. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Boom, 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 boom. By the way, I uh, just wanted to also let you all know that my Enigmatica 5 at this point in time, I am doing a lot of config changes, okay? So a lot of the config and stuff like that is getting changed on every update that I do. 
Um, so I recently updated, for example, and it took me a good 20 minutes or so just to update all of the different config changes that I had in place, okay? So just to let you know, it is somewhat, con you know, heavily uh, configged, I will say that, uh, but, you know, it's not so bad that, you know, everything's different, right? I mostly just tweak mine colonies items um, because those are the main ones that have been impacted, all right? So just as an FYI, I'm not changing everything, but there is a decent amount of config adjustment that I have been going through uh, while, while doing and updating this. So just, just to keep that in, in, in your mind. Um, anyways, let me do some work. Let me see if I can't get a little bit of this done. You know, we're 10, 11 minutes in here. I want to make a little bit of progress and hopefully we can at least have, you know, something a little bit more cool than just this warehouse. All right. So we are somewhat good to go. I've done a little bit of work uh, in and around on this bad boy right here. Um, I'm kind of keeping true to the original style. And I think that's pretty important, but we're definitely making some tweaks for convenience and kind of sort of effect as we go up, right? Now, is this going to be my prettiest base ever? Probably not, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, we I basically added a whole second level, uh, pretty much duplicating the first level there. Nothing too crazy. Standard, you know, I would like to call this your standard high rise type scenario. Right, and kind of made this a little bit bigger, a little bit nicer. And actually, I think I can remove all of these as well. I don't think we require them. So we can kind of open this up just a little bit more, make it a little bit more comfy in here. Instead of just like a standard two block height, right? It's typically pretty cramped when you start talking uh, two block heights and stuff like that, right? In this game, so... Just one of those little details that we can kind of kind of go with. You know, and there's a few other effects, of course, that we can go with and can kind of complete this, this up a little bit more, right? Now, I do have the elevator here so that I can go back and forth, but I typically, I'm going to remove or move this upstairs, right? I want to keep this area as open as possible for my villagers and all of that stuff to uh, come through, okay? Now, up here, as you can see, we have a nice little glass floor. We can see what's going on below us. We'll have access to all of our storage, and it's a pretty nice wide open space. Uh, there's a lot of room. I left these uh, three around the sides open so that you can come in and, you know, fly in type thing to the base, right? We can, we can come and go pretty easily, pretty flexibly, no big deal there, right? And then we kind of just have to basically complete the roof uh, out a little bit more. And for that, it's, again, nothing too crazy here. Uh, we're just going to slowly but surely build the roof. Yeah, we're going to go up three, I think. And then I think I'm going to cap it off. Um, not unlike some of the other buildings, like our citizens' huts, stuff like that, where you kind of have this little space at the top here with slabs. I'll probably do the same. Um, but I'm going to see if I can't, uh, do more, well, maybe we'll just do slabs. That's not a bad idea, actually. It'd save quite a bit on the shingles as well. Um, I don't mind that look. I really do like it, actually. So what we'll do is we'll go up one more. It'll be three up, and then we'll do the slabs. And the slabs are on this level. Boom, boom, boom. Just like so. And then we can kind of just go across and make ourselves a nice big old roof. There might be an additional peak or something like that. I'll play around a little bit with that as we get there. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy. I'm not reinventing the wheel here or anything like that. Uh, but this is going to be our main room, right? This is going to be our access to our storage, where we're going to do our crafting, where we prepare for things, all of that type of stuff, okay? So... Yeah, a lot of good stuff's going to happen in this room. This isn't going to be like our machinery or anything like that. This is strictly going to be for storage, 
you know, getting stuff, all of that. Okay. So just so that you guys are aware of what it is we're building. All right. Um, I think I like this. I don't know. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think we'll keep it pretty simple. I do like the windows. I like it being nice and bright and airy in here. Maybe I'll put some glass in the roof, actually. That might be a good idea. Instead of just all the slabs. Hmm. That's not a bad idea. I wonder if there's like... Is there like a glass half slab? <laughs> you know, it's always worth a shot, right? Like, I think there is, actually. There it is right there. Glass slab. Stone cutter. Ooh, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Uh, we'll definitely be looking into that. Uh, so yeah, what I'll do then, if seems how there's that, which I wasn't aware of, um, maybe we'll do some glass up in here. Keep the natural light of the mesa. Keep this room nice and toasty hot, because that's exactly what it would be when you're talking about in a desert. Um, excuse me, you're stuck. Can you go now? Better? Better? Did I save you? I saved you. Look at me go. Getting stuck in your own trees. All right. Anyways, there's a lot more work that I need to do on this thing. What do you got to trade? Portal charm. I've debated buying some of these just because um, it wouldn't be that bad. It'd be kind of nice to have. Uh, but let's head on over to that stone cutter. That's what I was doing. And make a few glass half slabs. Let's just try eight worth for now. Oh, you can do vertical slabs too. Ooh, we might maybe we can have some fun here in a little bit and kind of explore some of those details a little bit further. Now, I'm not sure if spruce would work okay here or not. Uh, it doesn't really fit the motif, so I think for the most part we're just gonna stick with the acacia. And keep it pretty simple with some stairs, just to add a little bit of extra depth. I don't normally like to build um, one one wide walls in my buildings because they don't add a lot of depth and detail to your build. Uh, but you know, we got to stick with what we got, right? Or else my room would be very, very small and compact. You know, all things considered. The since upgrading, I don't know if the colonists... I'm not sure if Mine Collie had an upgrade. I'll have to take a look. Um, it does seem like they are kind of sort of breaking a little bit more than what they were before. So I'm not sure. I'll double check the configs and all that type of stuff. Like the Combat Academy here. They're all just... Yeah, you just saw that, right? You just kind of teleported a little bit. Yeah, so I don't know where all the others are even right there this place is, should be full of people you know and are they even doing the things they're requesting things but again i don't know i feel like things are kind of breaking a little bit um since upgrading the pack in my colony um we have nobody over here crafting anything i d i feel like like what are you doing here why are you here why aren't you why aren't you going and doing research? Um, why are you just standing there, guard? Like, break it up, you know? Um, and I don't think my delivery people are really working either all that well. So I'm going to have to monitor this a little bit more closely uh, with the update here and see if it is a little bit more broken or not. Um, yeah, like, why is Pierre here? He should be crafting. So I'm not too sure what's going on here. Um, I'll have to take a look, like I said, in the configs and stuff like that. So maybe we'll just have a day of less productivity. See how they're kind of like glitching and everything? It's like they're lagging out a little bit. So yeah, I'm not too sure what's changed. Hopefully it'll be okay? Question mark. I don't want my people to be broken forever. So hopefully they'll be all right. Um, I haven't tried relogging either. I might give that a, a go as well. But yeah, little little curious, little curious on what's what's going on with the old uh, villagers here. So um, definitely gonna have to keep my eye on that. Uh, but yeah. So anyways, that's it, that's just with the most recent updated pack, which isn't even release. It's still beta, so that can be completely understandable as well. Okay. 
Cool. I like it. Uh, let's go see about the... I think I'm out of the black spruce. Oh, no, I got a few more. Uh, but we will run out. I will probably have to go farm some dye and everything as well. Uh, but, yeah, all things considered, I think that this is going to be a very nice look when it's done. When all things are said and done here. And the black roof is going to be very easy to pinpoint when I'm flying back into town as well. I'll be able to zoom in and, you know, find where I need to go pretty quickly, so... Anyways, I got to figure out a little bit more of this roof and this interior here, and uh, we'll zoom on back. All right, so I feel like we're at a pretty good spot here. Uh, we got a nice little room. Again, not sure what I'm going to do with these alcoves, but that's okay. We'll figure that out as we go. Um, I moved the crafting grid up here, and I think it looks pretty darn sharp. I think that's nicely, you know, facaded, to say the least. Um, now the one problem that I have is all of our stuff is not really accessible. So I got to move all of this, which is okay. Minor technical problem to have, right? Um, but at the same time, we got to worry about wiring and all that kind of stuff. So what I might actually end up doing is uh, this roof kind of looks a little bit, you know, weird with, you know, this all the way tucked in like that. Uh, if you know what I mean. So I was kind of thinking, is there a way that I can kind of make this look a little bit different? Um, we'll just put these in there like that. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, that's fine. And then the biggest thing here is, right, so we have cable coming here, right? Simple as that. We have cable. Okay, now if we put our controller, just as an example, right there, Right? It's pretty easy for us to hook up the cable to that. Right? But now, when we look inside at connecting to the warehouse itself, it's still pretty simple. Okay, good. Good. All right. So, we have cable to there, cable to there. We have all of our stuff. All right. Good stuff. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward fix for the most part which is good, um, but I'm kind of curious now just to, just how we're looking outside, right? So now we can see this big old controller here, and that's just not going to do in my books, right? We, we can't be seeing, you know, that thing, you know, as bad as it sounds. Now, I don't know how I'm going to hide it, <laughs> per se, um, but I think I might be able to do something like this. So let's just oh, stop it. There we go. So if I go like that and I make this, hmm, let's let's give this a quick try. So if we make this kind of like an awning or like a flat ceiling roof uh, type look, kind of like so, we remove this completely, remove these guys because we won't need them. Um, and we can go down here and we can s supply them like so. So that's cool. I think that looks good. And then from there, we have this pipe. Now, does refined storage have, like, facades or cable anchors? I don't know that it does, which... Yeah, let me know, guys. I'm not 100% familiar with refined storage. So if it does have, like, a facade or something like that, I don't... I haven't seen it anyways. Um, so that kind of lends a little bit of a problem here where we might see that cable... Now, we could easily potentially hide it if we had a facade just by coming in with some spruce and blocks and going up like so, right? Pretty basic, pretty easy to, to more or less hide this, but again, I'm not seeing anything in terms of a facade, so I'm a little concerned or a little leery that that's even available, right? And then we could cap it like that. But yeah, let me know if this is a thing that's possible or not, I'm not too sure. Like, even if I type in, typically it's like facade or cable anchor. I know that cable anchors, yeah, like, how do I, hmm. This all just looks like functional things. I need a way, Xnet facade, okay, but not a, not a normal thing. 
This block can the other blocks can be used to cover XNet cables. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything in terms of in terms of uh, refined storage. So yeah, a little little confused on that. I'm a little surprised to be honest. Um, but yeah, one of those things I guess. Let me know if you guys know of a way to cover up these cables uh, in the chat there, because I would really like to be able to cover these up. Um, I don't like seeing it like that. It looks incomplete, and I don't really have the room to push it in more. Uh, I think that this already fits pretty darn nicely uh, with the way it is. The other thing that I was kind of debating is, okay, this has a priority of 50. Let's just break this for a quick second. No, not that. And can we place this on top of this? It's continually not letting me place this on top. So that's telling me, unless it's like two blocks high and it's just kind of doesn't appear to be that way. Let's find out. Let's find out, right? So if I set that priority, you got to hit set, right? It doesn't look like it's working. Yeah, it's not working. So it doesn't access that block, even though it says that it should. So that's a bit of a problem too, right? The fact that we have to come down all the way to the side here just to get this thing set, it looks a little bit bad. That's, that's all really, but, you know, it just doesn't look good. So... Just one of those thought process. Anyways, you guys can let me know uh, down in the comments if there's any type of facade so that I can make this thing a little bit prettier. And the other thing that we didn't even factor in is I did not place down the, um, the storage thing, right? So we're just draining out of this guy. How are we going to power this as well um, is another big question that I don't really have a lot of room here. So... We might have to find a way to get some power to this thing as well. Um, but yeah, yeah, the little details, right? These are the little things that we're kind of sort of figuring out as we go along. I mean, I can easily do that, obviously, and I could run just an ugly power system. But again, now that looks kind of bad, right? I mean, this one we could probably cover up with a, just a simple stair or something, but that doesn't look very good, so... Or one of those vertical spruce slabs, potentially. Um, but yeah, just little thoughts. Anyways, I do like this little roof. Um, I could always bring the roof out one. Ooh, maybe that would just solve it. What do you guys think? I don't know. It might just solve it. It might just be the solution. I might have just figured out the solution. But we'll see. We'll see. I haven't tried it yet. So let's, let's explore. So if I bring that out one... And then this gives us access to all back here. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. So if I cover that, that'll cover that, which is cool. I think, though, that we would need then, we would need this gone right here. And we would need to do, no, we need to do this. So kind of do like a tiered roof. Kind of like that, and then I can fill in that block as well. That's all right. I don't mind that either. That works pretty good. And I still don't know how I'm going to power this, but <laughs> for right now, it's probably just going to be running some cable out to my to my solar panels because that's really all I got. Um, so it's going to look a little bit dumb to begin with, but uh, <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't mind this as well. Let me know your thoughts. If there is a facade or something like that that we can utilize, I think it would look better um, than this, you know, unique roof design. But you guys let me know. Uh, think about it. Ponder on it. And uh, I need to get power to my system. I do not want to run out of juice over there. Uh, we're kind of cannibalizing other things. So the other thing that I was debating is where should I put my, my actual machines, right? And this kind of got me thinking, well, I dug out that basement... Should I just put them there, right? Should I just put them out there and get that going, you know, for machines and everything? And I might. We'll see. Um, we could always build like a machine building or something. Maybe something small and tight right in this area that has a bit of an underground or something. 
Um, I've, I'm kind of pondering a couple of different things, but overall, I think the warehouse looks good. I really do. I like that there's different levels. I like the glass in the roof, the fact that we can fly in, quickly look at our items, you know, dump stuff off, all that kind of stuff. We can do all this pretty easily. So this is really good. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts on the build. I think it's pretty swell. Uh, raid tonight? No? I haven't had a raid, like, period. Maybe they're just broken. I'd be okay with that. <laughs> I would actually be okay with that uh, for a little bit of time here. Um, I don't know how well my delivery men are working, but I reloaded. I, I logged out, logged back in, basically, to the world, and it seems like everybody's working again properly, so... So that's really positive. So just one of those derpy AI moments, I guess, more than anything else. And uh, yeah, other than that, uh, let me go check on a couple of different things and see what uh, see how we're doing. The biggest thing is, is I'm curious as to why we're building so slow. Like, we are not building quickly around here. So, yeah, yeah. Building, the building speed is slow. I sometimes wonder if I shouldn't just have the one builder with all these deliverymen go into it. I think I'm overwhelming them with the three builders, honestly. But, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. All that fun stuff. Thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it. Uh, love the support, comments, likes, subscribes, all that kind of stuff. Thank you all so, so much. We have at least a place to somewhat call our own um in this beautiful beautiful colony so thank you all so much and have a good one